close your eyes. Go ahead, close your eyes. Open your ears and listen to one of the most magnificent instruments in the world. <laughs> Go ahead and open your eyes. Now, if you didn't already guess, that was the recorder. Now, many of you might think that playing a musical instrument requires a lot of skill, but I'm here to tell you that it, it's really not true. The recorder is one of those instruments that only takes a matter of minutes to master. A fifth grader even once told me that the recorder is the easiest instrument in the world to play. It only requires two skills, and I'm pretty confident that I can teach you how to play the recorder in just a matter of minutes. You only need to learn how to produce a sound and how to change the pitch of that sound to the melody of a song. Learning to play the recorder is a very feasible goal that anybody can accomplish. The first step to learning how to play the recorder is learning how to properly hold it. Now, you need to place your left hand on the top of the recorder and your right hand on the bottom. You need to place the recorder in your mouth at a 40 degree angle. You're thinking in your mouth, in your head, that that's a very specific angle. Now, the reason for this is if you hold the recorder too high, your wind stream will be cut off and you won't be able to produce a, f a fluent note. If you hold it like this, you're just going to look awkward and your audience <laughs> will not really connect with you. So, by holding it at 40 degrees, you're able to produce a constant note and be comfortable. The next part is learning how to produce the sound. So you need to blow lightly through the recorder, not inhaling through the recorder. You need to lightly seal the, the mouthpiece of the recorder in your mouth. You don't want to place it too far in your mouth because then your sound will vary and it won't sound very good. So here's an example of just playing a constant note. Next step is learning how to separate the airflow to produce separate notes. When you're going to change the pitch of the, the note, you're going to want to separate each note to note. That way that you are not slurring them together and you'll end up with a better quality sound. In order to do this, you want to make a T sound with your mouth. By, place, by making a T sound, the tongue, or your tongue will touch the top of your mouth, which will block the air from flowing through the recorder. So an example of separated notes sounds like this. Now that we've learned how to produce a sound from our recorder, we're going to learn how to change the pitch. Now, many of you have probably already guessed that you can do so by covering the various holes on the front of the recorder. Today, I'm going to teach you the first three basic notes. The first note is B. The fingering for B is shown in this diagram. You're going to use your thumb on your left hand to cover the hole on the back of the recorder and the index finger to cover the first hole. And then you can play B. The next note is A. You can do this by using the same fingering for B and just adding your middle finger to the next hole on the next spot on top of the recorder. And it sounds like this. The third note is G. Now G uses all three fingers on the top of the recorder as well as the thumb on the back. And it sounds like this. Now, an acronym to help you remember these first three notes is BAG. And here's a little song that can help you remember. Now, by playing this song, I put together both changing the, using separation of notes and changing the pitch. You, you can play many songs by using just B, A, and G. Learning to play the recorder is a very feasible goal that anybody can accomplish. Just in this matter of minutes, you guys have already mastered three notes and learning how to produce separated tones. You can play many songs just using these three notes, and I hope that you guys can all learn to continue learning new notes. Here is one more song that uses just the three notes, B, A, and G. <laughs>